in this video i am going to demonstrate how we can configure tde in oracle 19c standalone database running on oracle linux 7.9 so let me validate that what is the database is running on this host and let me log into the database and the steps i have prepared i'm going to execute one by one here and uh, one more thing is uh, the high level steps have been shared into my oracle dba blog that is www.databaselogwriter.com so let me proceed one by one first of all i am creating a p file from sp file because if anything goes wrong we can start up the database uh, from this sp file and then we can create the sp file okay because why because uh, i am going to modify the uh, valid root and tde configuration uh, file uh, parameter in uh, sp file location sp file so now i am validating that uh, pre configuration my i mean uh, so td so parameter tde and so parameter uh valid location so i am setting in the talter system set a valid root location i am already created i have already created a valid location and i am setting up in this parameter into the test bit file after that you cannot configure you cannot modify the parameter td configuration key store configuration file in sp file because the database need bounds to uh modify this parameter because we have uh, said that uh, valid root location in sp file only so it requires bounds database bounds so i am doing the database bounds now again i am starting up the database Uh, database uh, opened. Now we can validate. So parameter valid. So the valid root location have been set. Now the so parameter td td configuration not yet set, right? So we need to execute that uh, alter system set td configuration keys to configuration file in sp file. From uh, here one thing. i would like to say here from 18c onwards after setting this uh, key store configuration file you no need to bounce the database uh, also you no need to configure that key store valid location on sql dot sql net dot wrap file so it doesn't required from 18c onwards so now i am configuring in to 19c database so it doesn't record the bounds database bounds not required from 18c onwards and also now no need to configure that sql net ora file also keys uh, key store uh, configuration file uh, valid file location on sql net ora location ora file okay so i have said that alter uh, tde configuration here you can uh, see here i have validated both, uh, both uh, parameter tde and uh, and enabling the uh, key management creating that uh, key management i am getting the error why because i didn't create that tde location well under the valid uh, how to create a tde uh, directory after that only i have created it's looking it's looking fine now you can see that valid uh, configuration file have been created under that valid tde location so uh, key management create key store file have been created under tde location so after that you can validate so valid uh, files have been created 
a master key also have been created so now i am opening that uh, key store open force key store identified password like i am uh, creating that backup key store uh, administer key store management set key uh, key store uh, force and identify uh, identify the password with the backup so now you can see here that valid uh, encryption valid it has been the file has been opened all right but uh, the container 3 that is that means that is a uh, uh, pluggable database open no master key so uh, i doesn't configure that master key not yet configured so we will do it later and uh, now i am validating that uh, i am going to encryption on on the users table space on uh, container database level so you can see here we will select store from middle table space and that uh, users table space uh, encryption it's not yet turned on and also Now let me turn on that uh, encryption on that, that user table space. Let me validate. So now you can see the user's table space encryption turned on. So now the user's table space have been encrypted. Let us validate one more query like encrypted table spaces. Uh, yeah, you can see it's been encrypted. The table space number four, user table space. Okay, uh, let me do the same steps uh, here in the pluggable database as well. So it looks like the pluggable database is mounted uh, mount stage. Uh, we need to open the read write mode, and then we will execute the same steps. And we need to create the key store, uh, master key store in um, pluggable databases. And then we will uh, enable the same user table space on that pluggable uh, uh, database as well. So, I am validating the TV table spaces that uh, and also encrypted table spaces not yet enabled, encryption not yet enabled in the user table spaces. So, now I am enabling um, that user's table space on pluggable database. So, I am getting an error. Why? Because I did not uh, uh, set that master key, not yet set, and uh, now I have set that master key. Now I am enabling that uh, encryption and the user table space. Now you can check. So encryption turned on for user table space. Alright. So that's all my friends. Uh, and 
Thanks for watching Oracle Phone Channel. I'll post all this uh, work log into Oracle DB.